Today we're going to be looking at my Nazareth vinyl collection. Uh, their first album is a reissue on the white, dressed on white vinyl. This originally came out in 1971. Uh, the reissue has a gatefold. Next, from 1972, we have Exercises. Very good record. This is also a gatefold. There's the back of it. This is 1973. He gives us Razamanaz. This was one of the first of three of their records to be produced by Roger Glover of the Deep Purple fame. And here is a gatefold of that 70s album. I do have two copies of this. The first copy is on the gold AM label. Second one is on the regular white A and M label. That was my second copy of that one. Next we have 1973's Loud and Proud. They did a cover of Joni Mitchell's This Flight Tonight. And also the Ballad of Hollis Brown, a Bob Dylan cover. And after that, we get 1974. We get their Rampant album, which was co-produced by Manny Charlton on the A&M label. Nineteen seventy five, you get Hair of the Dog. Everybody has this in their album collection, they should. Uh, it has the hit Love Hurts and Beggar's Day, and of course the title track, Hair of the Dog. Um, my high school, the cafeteria actually had this mural painted on the wall. But before I graduated, they made them cover it up. Said it was a bad influence. All right, 1975. Also, we get their first greatest hits. This one is a single album. So it covers our first six albums. So, this one's on the NIMS label. It was actually an import. 1976 brings us close enough for rock and roll. As the song Telegram was a big hit off this one. Nineteen seventy six also gives us playing the game. Very underrated album. Uh, it's got I Want to Do Everything for You. Very, very good album. But not too many people know because all they play is Love Hurts and Hair of the Dog on the radio. 1976 also gives us their second greatest hits, known as Hot Tracks. On the AM label. This is my second reissue because I couldn't find a decent copy of this. It is Expect No Mercy, originally released in 1977. The title track, Expect No Mercy, of course, is this gatefold. 
Dead, uh, Gone Dead Train is also on there. It's a very good song. Kentucky Fried Blues. And it also came with a custom label. Seventy-eight. We get no mean city. Bunch of good songs on this one. Just get into it. Star, claim the fame. Very very good. Nineteen eighty. We get Malice in Wonderland. I believe this one had two different covers. Um, I got the most popular cover. I believe they had another one with a different, a little diff, different cover design, basically the same. Uh, also released on A&M. 1981. We get The Full Circle. I always thought that was a pretty cool album cover with the horse turning into a dolphin. Also on a and has got the live uh, version of Cocaine on this one. That was a uh, song made popular by Eric Clapton. Also 1981, we get the double live uh, called Snaz. But as you will see on this, it is a gatefold. Got a shot of them in their live. But also, if you look on the back of it, it's supposed to be It's Naz. But because of the way the gatefold folded, it looked like Snaz. So everybody used to call it that, even though it was not that. And it was also released. This was an import copy I picked up on the NIMS label. Nineteen eighty-two brings us to excess. This is a very good record. <clears throat> they started getting into more of the eighties, eighties type of rock, where the hard rock was just kind of eh. um, kind of. We got some couple mellow songs on here. <clears throat> and the last one I have in my collection is nineteen eighty-three Sound Elixir. Uh, no, I thought that was a cool cover. This was an import on the Vertigo label. So, and that does it for my Nazareth collection.